Howdy ho, it's Vatsubo. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to improve your visual clarity in-game, boost your in-game FPS, make your game look beautiful, and how to bind more than one key to a bind. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is press Windows key and R on your keyboard at the same time. This will bring up the run command. You're going to want to type percent local app data percent and click enter. This will bring up your Windows File Explorer into your local file settings. You're going to want to scroll down until you see Dead by Daylight. Click on Saved, Config, Windows Client. The first thing you're going to want to open is your engine.ini settings. I have all of the settings changed already. Uh, the settings, all the settings in this video will be found in the description. Um, all you're going to want to do is paste it in here and then press Control and S on your notes app at the same time and then X out of it. The next thing we're going to be wanting to look into is game user settings.ini. For the best quality settings, you're going to want to put all of these on three. Um, you can put them all on low, except for possibly animation quality, because I know that that'll mess up some of the animations in game. So I wouldn't recommend changing that from three. You can change your resolution quality. All this really does is just like how many pixels is going to be formed on the screen. The higher it is, the more pretty the game is going to be, but it, it is really heavily taxing on your FPS. I just have it at 100 because I don't need any more. Um, you're going to want to press Control and F, type in FPS. All of these FPS limits should be at 60. Some people have it at 30. Um, you can put this at any limit above 120 FPS because the game is a hard cap lock on 120 FPS. Uh, just go through here, FPS limit, I put it at 500. You can go to the next one, B use FPS, put that on a false. Same with B use VSync. You want VSync off because that'll hard cap your FPS at whatever refresh rate your monitor is. Uh, just as long as it's, you know, um, under 120. Uh, and next should be frame rate limit, which is right down here. But you can put that at 0. 0.0000 doesn't really matter um you can also put it at 500 i just have it at zero just because uh press Control and s at the same time exit out of it um go into input.ini and um this is for your dual key bindings um for depending on what action i have it on secondary actions so it's like skill checks and all the secondary actions um, I have it on spacebar and M5, which is my thumb mouse button. So, thumb mouse button right here is M5, which is the back button on your mouse. And then I just copied this entire string of command and then pasted it one lower and then changed it to spacebar. Just in case, you know, maybe, maybe I want to do spacebar, but I go to scratch my face and then I can, um, change, uh, just do the skill check with thumb mouse button. This goes the same with every single key binding in here you can add two key bindings to whatever you know keystroke key bind you want in the game um i can do one more in-depth video if you guys are interested in that but you know like i said all the settings in the description of this video you change it put it there Control s exit out of it that's how you're going to need for that all right next thing we're going to be doing is downloading reshade so go to the comment or go to the website in the description reshade.me you're gonna want to download it i already have it downloaded so you know i don't need to download it um but i will go through the installation process again all right so the setup process should look something similar to this you just go in here you find dead by daylight right here uh it should say egc for the epic games client but i'm playing on steam so it doesn't do not click the easy anti-cheat launcher, just click Dead by Daylight, click next, uh, Dead by Daylight runs on Microsoft DirectX 10 or 11, so click this, click next, and then you're going to want to do install, I don't have it because I already have it installed, and then click next, and then you're finished, so finish it, um, it should come up with like a settings thing or what to download, you can just click all of it, 
All right, once you have successfully installed um, Reshade, uh, you should see Reshade shaders and whatever other settings, I don't know what settings adds, to your uh, Dead by Daylight configure file. In order to get to that, you need to open Steam. Double click on Steam, go to Library, go to Dead by, Dead by Daylight, right click it, click Properties, go to Local Files, Browse Local Files, all right, once it has opened, it should bring you into this. You're gonna to wanna to click Dead by Daylight, Binaries, Win64, and you should see reshaders and everything else. Um, that's when you're going to want to download either my pack, which is vots.ini, or Kaido's reshade preset, and drop them both in here, okay? After that, you're going to open Dead by Daylight. You should see reshade in the top left. It should appear right here with the tutorial, I don't recommend doing the tutorial, you don't really need it. Um, just press home on your keyboard. If you have a 60% keyboard, it should be FN and like H or whatever other key or whatever other key it is on your keyboard. It should open this. You click uh, the top right here, and then you can choose from the presets that you already put in the file. I'm just gonna choose, you know, mine. I'm gonna select it. And then you're going to want to click reload and then enable performance mode with performance mode disabled of course you know you're going to get worse performance so enable it and as you can see in the top right your fps should no longer be capped at 60 fps it should be at you know maximum 120 but i'm only getting 106 frames right now because of all the settings that i have on reshade and because i'm recording and i'm downloading a game and compiling a video at the same time right now so my FPS is going to be uh, affected just a little bit by it, but that is not too big of a problem. Okay, so exit out of that. You can go to options. I'm just going to showcase um, the dual key bindings here. So secondary action skill check. It should say space. It will not show that there is two on it at the same time. In order to test it, I recommend going into a uh, into the tutorial as either survivor or killer, depending on whatever you did. Um. You know, just do all this movement stuff. I just gotta wait until I get to a gen. I won't directly be able to show you guys the keybind working, but you, you're just gonna have to trust me on it, okay? <laughs> um, it does work. I made it myself. I know I'm so smart. I'm so cool. Um, all right. So we're gonna be vaulting this window here. And mine is skill check. So like how I said, in input binding, it's space, secondary action, skill check. When we do it, it should say M5 or M4 if I wrote it. Right there, M4. So we know that works. And um, let me just finish this gen. This is what the game looks like with my, with my uh, settings. This is what it looks like without my settings. Very boring, very bland, very flat with my settings. So, and then I will show you guys what it looks like with Kaito's settings. And this is Kaito's reshade preset. Kind of for a competitive advantage, I guess. You know, being able to see in the dark and stuff. I personally don't like it. I, I, you know, I like the visuals better. I like the way this looks. This looks so much better. Feels so much better with the motion blur, you know, the added FPS, it just feels great. So, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to, you know, subscribe, like the video, comment if you would like, or if you would be interested in me making maybe a more in-depth tutorial on the keybinds, uh, any settings in this game. I'm just very interested to see what you guys have to say about this tutorial, okay? Thanks for watching.